Working as a life coach, I work directly with those individuals at high risk of gun violence. And I see what sometimes simple opportunities for change can provide. Once we identify those who are at risk, which is primarily men, I then reach out to them, usually via a visit to their house. A member of the Hope Road Police Department and usually a community member will join me on the visit, which we can call a custom notification. Needless to say, these have to happen regularly, as well as us having to keep up with everything going on in order to stay on top of it. Each week our teams work closely with the, with the police department, the school system, the school resource officers, and other community members and stakeholders to keep a pulse on what's going on in the community. To understand where there are issues, who has beef, who might be trying to start something with someone, who may be fighting at school even, who is talking trash on social, social media, really we look into everything in order to ensure we are addressing anyone involved in any of those issues in order to try to squash it and stop it before it becomes an issue. We have stopped many things from happening over the past eight months following this model. For instance, we were noticing a lot going on in the schools with massive fights. We began working with the, with the SRO who would then provide with the information so I would be able to conduct the custom notifications. Sometimes even in the schools. This was also during basketball season, so there was a lot of trash talk and would start to spill, spill out inside the community. So we started attending the games, dividing up and stopping things before they got started. So there was nothing to carry on in the community after the game. After we started this, there was not one fight during or after the game. 